Try do my best for a purpose all the way till the massive on a season. Now I see the rest of pre them vibes are from what day. What is the reason? How them I go and like them and never pour one time. My head is not up in the sky. Oh, you don't know what goes on here behind my smile. All right, so it's now time for one of my favorite segments, Celebrity Knock. It's a Friday feature where we welcome influential figures. We're talking real star quality to line with us in studio. This week's guest is an artist destined for greatness, possessing a limitless vocal range and profound soulfulness. Her musical journey began in 2008 with the girl group SLR securing third place on the Digisol Rising Stars talent show. She also portrayed Judy Mowat, a member of the I3s in the production, Bob Marley, One Love. We're thrilled to introduce Anna Sheree Blake, professionally known as Savannah. Good afternoon and welcome to our studio. Thank you so much for having me. I'm excited. That <laughs> intro was so nice. Well, <laughs> all that. So so, um, well, you, you've earned it. Thank so you. So that's why so it was much. nice. Yes. Yeah, and I appreciate that. Um, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what to say what to yeah. <laughs> Thank you for gracing us with your presence. I know a lot of our team members here are very, very happy to have you. I've heard so much about you even from before. So well, that's good. That's yeah. good. That means they, that they love you. Is, 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 <laughs> it's, tra it's traveling and it's, you know, the work that I'm doing is making sense. Yeah. So. so I'll start because you recently performed at Lost in Time. Yeah, lit first. How was it? Was it lit? It was <laughs> lit. You understand? I kept the set very lively, very happy. I could have, I could have chosen other songs, but my whole story for Lit Fest was to just literally keep it happy and lit. So from the start to the beginning, from the beginning till the end, yes. Yes. it was just vibes. I had a whole dance segment. You know, it was just, it was, it was incredible, actually. Yeah. I heard, I heard about it, yeah. Yeah, man, yeah, man, people are more real about it. So I'm going to say it um, boldly because they really were, so I feel good. Yeah, and how do you feel now, Savannah, about the response, the impact that you have on your audience? Because, you know, when you hit the stage now, it's as if the people can feel your energy, they can oh, they feel do. your vibe. No, they really do. Um, it's always stunning every time. Like, it, it's something that you're like, ooh. But I think at this point, for me, even before I'm on the stage, once my voice is warm, once I know that the band is, is ready and feeling prepared, and once I feel good, once I, once I look good, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm ready to take on the stage, even if the crowd doesn't respond. But when they do respond with such warmth, it's really reassuring. And it just helps me to deliver an even more energetic performance. Like, it definitely drives me even harder. You know what I mean? Yeah. Is it easier performing at home or internationally or almost the same? No crowd is harder than a Jamaican crowd. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because when you go about um, bar and them just, them just want you said two things in a pot and you're like, ah. Yeah. You know, yeah. and then don't let them know the song a little bit. It's yeah. like, it's they, over. They take, they take over. They do, they do. But I mean, my favorite place to perform is at home. Just because they're not going to, they're, they're not going to pretend for you. Yeah. You know? You'll know. Yeah, They'll exactly. tell you as it is. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Can you tell us a little bit more about the start though? Because we referenced the fact that you were, part of a group that performed at the Digital Rising Stars yes. talent show. And yes. that was maybe 14 years ago, 15 years so, ago? Yeah, it long a, time it ago. Was a long, it was a long <laughs> yeah. time ago. So at that point, did you aspire to like be where you are now? Or was that something I that you just didn't have and a, your friends decided to try? I didn't have a clue what I was doing. I just knew I loved singing. I had a friend of mine that was in the same literature, literature class. We found out what, that we could sing. I was like, I'm gonna enter Rising Star. She was like, okay, great. I have a friend who can sing too. Never meet a friend yet. We end up um, the night before the rehearse, the auditions. We end up rehearse all night at my grandfather's house named, near Chantilly Deso. And then we jumped on a bus to Oksha Reyes, um, <laughs> 15 and a half, almost 16. Go up there, audition. And now, um, yeah. And Anthony Miller gave you a white, a white paper. He did, yeah. <laughs> no, and then Jamaica ended up vote for it. Yeah. You know what it is though? We were kind of polarizing, but I think more people loved us than hated us. Cause yeah, when we look back, like if I'm being honest, yeah. we never saw, you know, never saw hot in the singing, yeah. but we really did try our best and we're really committed. And I think maybe that's what Jamaica loved and 
got a tax job. Right, so when you got that experience and that taste of yes. performing and getting uh, buy-in from the fans, because right. Digicel Rising Star is a hugely popular television Huge, yeah. television program, we see um, singers like Romaine Virgo and, yes. and Christopher Martin yes. who propelled their careers outside or beyond the Digicel Rising Stars. Yeah. What did that experience do for you? Because you said when you started, it was yeah. just something you were trying. Yeah. Did, that, was, did the bug bite there and you said, you know what, this is something I could pursue? You know what it is? I'd always told my mother that I was going to leave at home by the time I reached 16. And so once I got to Kingston and I recognized that music is something that I really, truly love, um, I decided not to go back and not look back, you know? So I did, you know, I finished school, did all the things, but I think from there is when I decided, you know, I'm gonna really do this. And then many times after that too, deciding to continue doing it, because it's not just this one big, like, confirmation, like, yes, this is what it is. I think at every hardship or every speed bump, you kind of have to be like, okay, am I doubling down, am I going to continue? Um, but yeah, no, big up stars like Romaine and Christopher Martin. Romaine is actually one of my favorite artists. He's very talented, he's very, so very incredible. talented. His, his um, album, yeah. The yeah. Gentleman, you know, he just dropped his first single yesterday with Masako, it's dope. Um, but yeah, I think I learned a lot from being on Rising Stars, from interviewing to performing on stage, because I didn't have any experience prior to that. Yes. Mm -hmm. I was literally just singing in a bathroom. Can I pry a bit though, because yeah. why, as a teenager, did you commit yourself to leaving home at 16? Because I don't think that's, that's normal? normal. I don't think that's normal. You what is that? it about Savannah that made you feel as if by the time you reached 16, you wanted to leave home? Maybe just the one conquer the world. Yeah, yeah I feel like, yeah. I you feel always like... know, you know, Lance, I didn't plan to move to Jamaica, <laughs> but I knew I was not going to remain in Trinidad media. I yeah. just knew. Yeah. yeah. I think, honestly, I feel like a lot of teenagers might feel that way. Now that I would never encourage that, right? <laughs> but I do think a lot of teenagers have that kind of, you know, some no more and do, and somewhere or other they get influenced otherwise, but some of us are just like, you know, I'm going to commit to it. I know I need to move from this space. And I think I just knew I needed to not be in Sav for where I was going to go. I don't think I knew enough, but I think I had enough guts and enough will and enough faith what was, what was school like? Leap. How well did you do in school and how much did you enjoy academics? I loved school, especially literature. Um, I wasn't so strong in maths until I got to fifth form, then I developed a real love for it. But I was an A student. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I really loved school. I was studying yeah. the sciences mm -hmm. before music, so. I want to know about the big, big one, the Bob Marley movie. Yeah. <laughs> Talk <Okay>. to me. <laughs> no, the Bob Marley movie was incredible, you know. Shout out to Naomi Cohen, to Lashana Lynch. Kingsley Benadire, Tossin Cole, Anthony Walsh, James Norton. I mean, so many to go on and on and on. Alex A. Game, um, Jay Summer, local, a lot of local um, talent as well to make up the main cast. Um, it was it was an honorable experience. I think I'm still absorbing it. Because you're be an act actress too. Yes, yes. I started acting in like officially 2017. Right. Yeah, I had started in um, Losing Patience. It's a local web series yes. that was produced, edited, and directed by Tony Blackford. She's incredible. And I kind of just, I think that's where I was just like, ah, this is kind of relaxing, which is a strange thing to say. And I think maybe people who only act wouldn't say that. But for music, it's a lot of me. Like, this is not an act, you know what I mean? Um, but for acting, you're literally just learning a character and responding as they would. Not to mimic them, but just as they would in like a real scenario. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, but yeah, this, this obviously was on a whole other scale. It's a feature film and with a star-studded cast, and there was a lot of researching. I met with Judy Mowat, you know, I wow. had to take notes about her life. She brought me through her home and showed me, you know, the, the trophies, the awards, the pictures, the and shared moments in her life that just meant a lot to her, which I will never, ever forget. I have some of the conversation recorded on my phone. Um, so I'll just have that for as long as I live, I think. And um, Judy Moore was very special. So to play is. her role, you know, yes. because although she made her name as I3s, she had some singles she that were did. very, very big tunes as well. And Absolutely. She was, she was really admired by the reggae Absolutely. public. Absolutely. Black woman. I mean, she's the first Jamaican woman to have produced her own music, yeah. right? And like me, she started her own label. You know what I mean? And then if we go back to the 80s when that the film is depicting, 
she was pregnant wow. on stage after the attempt on Bob Marley's life to yeah. support him in sharing his message. So, I mean, it, it's a, I say it all the time, but I can't say it enough. She's a divine woman. I'm, I feel very honored. And I know she's proud of me because she told me so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you became her, literally. I, did, I her. really did. I really did. From how big she wanted her head wrapped to how much movement she made on stage because we studied the movements for like months. We shot for six months. Aww. You know what I'm saying? So studying her movements, she was the liveliest of the three. Um, all of that became my whole life. Yeah. So. The Bob Marley movie is getting rave reviews globally. I know. How, how, one how, do you America. how do you feel about that and being a part of it? It's, it's, it's crazy. It's crazy. It's surreal. I mean, I'm really proud of my castmates. We're like a family. I just, it's just intense. I just didn't even imagine that that would become a part of my life story, you know? Uh, yeah, just big. S Savannah, yeah. you're a stunningly beautiful young lady. Thank you. And yes. I know that you've done some modeling. Thank you so much. Thank you. You've done some modeling. I have done some modeling. May, may, I, try, may, may I try to get signed by um, people in name? IMG are one of them. What? <laughs> IMG needs to call on my phone. You know, <laughs> sign me as necessarily like a, a model model, but like a talent that could be a model. So, yeah. you know, yeah. Yeah. I feel like we can, you know. I, 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 well, you put it out there and you're yeah. on the channel, so I, I hope they're here. Listen up. Listen, I mean, you do the right thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Any projects we can look forward to? I know you told me off air. Yeah. You can't tell me everything, but tell me what you can. What's I can out? tell you that I have a new single that's coming out on March 8th. Yeah. And it's called Keep Going, and it means a lot to me, and I hope that people mm -hmm. are able to really feel where I'm coming from and, and resonate with you. I want to ask you something quickly before we wrap yeah. the segment. Because when I listen to you sing, I think of like an India RE, that kind of soulful, spiritual output coming from you. Thank you. I, I just, where did that come from? She's one of my favorite vocalists. I just think it came from me listening to a lot of soul music and also... I'm, I'm a deeply passionate person. Feels weird to say that about myself, but I really do... I feel a lot all the time, and I think that's exactly where I sing from. The same place that my feelings are, they bubble up from, is the same place that, you know, I sing from. And I think if it's coming from someplace deep, maybe that's why it feels like yeah, that. Think, but, you know, I, I, I love India it. Ari. She's incredible. Yeah, yeah. she is. She is, yeah. yeah. Well, Savannah, I want to thank you so much for stopping by. For sure. You are beautiful. You're doing great you things. You are beautiful. Thank and you. I love your eyeliner. Thank <laughs> you. I'll tell you who my makeup artist is after. Okay. Look, yeah, look forward to, of course, seeing great things from you, more music, and attending another live show. Yes. All okay. right. Yep. All right. Yeah. Yay. Savannah. Check out her music on YouTube and, of course, continue to follow her career.